بيزنس بريب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته at this video ان شاء الله we are going to study algebra unit 1 lesson 2 it's comparing and ordering rational numbers at this lesson ان شاء الله we have four main ideas the first idea is how to represent the number in the, nu in the, num the numbers in the number line second we are going to know how to compare between two numbers what, yeah, which of them is the greater and which is the smaller the third one we are going to learn how to arrange the number in ascending numbers in ascending or descending order and then the f finally we are going to study how to put numbers between two rational number numbers let's start first we have in the first example uh, represent the rational numbers on the number line then arrange them ascendingly ascendingly means from the smaller to greater first before we drawing the number line we need all numbers with the same denominator for example the first number is 3 over 4 the second number is 0 which is 0 over 1 as we learned as we took before and the third one is 7 over 4 the third one is uh, the fourth one is 2 over 1 the fifth one is negative 1 over 1 now we have the denominators 4 1 4 1 and 1 then we need to change the four the five numbers into the same denominator by looking to the denominators 4 1 4 1 1 um, we notice that the greater one 4 is divisible by itself and divisible by 1 okay then the least common denominator or the common denominator here is 4 okay now we are going to leave the first to write the first fraction without change 3 over 4 the second one I need to change 0 into 2 0 over 1 into 0 over 4 okay 0 over 1 as the same as 0 over 4 next 7 over 4 leave it without change and 2 over 1 2 change 2 over 1 and 2 denominator 4 then we are going to multiply up and down by 4 like this then it will be Eight over four and negative one over negative one over one also need to, to change into denominator four by multiplying up and down by four it will be negative 4 over 4 so the numbers will be 3 over 4 0 over 4 7 over 4 8 over 4 and negative 4 over 4 this is the first step changing all the numbers into common denominator the second step draw the number line like this or we can draw it with black like this okay and then write the numbers on the number line by using the new denominator 4 that means at the middle we are going to write here 0 over 4 next 1 over 4 2 over 4 3 over 4 
4 over 4 and so on to the left negative 1 over 4 negative 2 over 4 and so on finally you will find the number line will be like this 0 over 4 1 over 4 2 over 4 3 over 4 till 8 over 4 to the left negative 1 over 4 negative 2 over 4 negative 3 over 4 negative 4 over 4 till negative 8 over 4 you note you notes here that I squared some numbers okay these numbers are 0 over 4 which is equal to 0 this number is zero four over four which is one eight over four which is two negative four over four which is negative one negative eight over four which is negative two and this is the whole numbers okay now i need to represent three over four uh zero over one and so on in the number line three over four okay uh, we are going to circle 3 over 4 like this 0 over 1 which is 0 I'm going to circle it like this 7 over 4 here we have 7 over 4 2 2 which is equal 8 over 4 it will be like this here and negative 1 over 4 which is negative 4 over 4 here in this position then now I I have represented the numbers on the number line this is the first step or the first required the second required it needs to arrange the numbers in ascending order in ascending means from smaller to greater again ascending means from smaller to greater to arrange the numbers first we are going to write the order here the first number with us is negative 4 over 4 which is negative 1 next the second number is 0 over 4 which is 0 next the third number 3 over 4 the fourth number 7 over 4 finally 8 over 4 which is 2 and this is the order in ascending order okay next example 2 arranges the following numbers in descending order or descendingly before change the numbers uh, arrange the number in descending order we need to change them into common denominator like this we have here negative 2 over 2 negative 1 over 3 excuse me we have negative 1 over 2 1 over 3 negative 7 over 18 5 over 9 and negative 1 by looking to the denominators 2 3 18 9 and the last one negative 1 over 1 we have here negative 1 over 1 the greater denominator is 18 ne 18 is divisible by 9 and divisible by 3 and divisible by 2 so the common denominator will be 18 okay first I need to change all of them into the denominator 18 the first one negative 1 over 2 to be 18 then I'm, I'm going to multiply up and down by 9 
because 2 over 9 equals 18 it will be negative 9 over 18 next 1 over 3 equal by multiplying up and down by what yes by multiplying up and down by 6 why 6 because 3 times 6 equal 18 6 and 6 it will be Six over eighteen, like this. The third one is se negative seven over eighteen. Five. The fourth one, five over nine. Equal. By multiplying up and down by what? By multiplying up and down by two. It will be 10 over 18 and the last one is negative 1 over 1 by multiplying up and down by 18 it will be negative 18 over 18 okay now we have 1 over 2 which is negative 9 over 18 1 over 3 which is 6 over 18 say negative 7 over 18 without change 9 uh, 5 over 9 which is 10 over 18 negative 1 over 1 which is negative 18 over 18 I need to arrange them in descending order Descending means from greater to smaller. Then I'm going to write the order as before. The order is then the biggest number here is 10 over 18 10 over 18 its origin is 5 over 9 next after 10 over 18 we have 6 over 18 which its origin 1 over 3 after 6 over 18 we have negative 7 over 18 after negative 7 over 18 we have negative 9 over 18 finally excuse me negative 9 over 18 we are going to write its origin which is negative 1 over 2 finally we have negative 18 over negative 18 which is negative 1 notes we write the origin numbers the original numbers not the numbers in the new form okay next example three complete using smaller than bigger than or equal to compare between two numbers then we need to change them into common denominators 
if they have the same denominator then we are going to compare between the numerators okay the first one 7 over 6 and 4 over 6 we, they have the same denominator 6 then which is bigger 7 or 4 yes 4 is the greater 1 then the sign opposite to 7 over 6 b negative 3 over 5 and the negative 2 over 5 here we have the same denominator 5 then we are going to compare between negative 3 and the negative 2 negative 2 is greater than negative 3 c 2 over 5 and 2 over 6 if we have the same numerator then uh, we are going to compare between the denominators the smaller one is the greater fraction that mean 2 over 5 is greater than 2 over 6 because 5 is smaller than 6 again if the numerators are equal then the smaller denominator is the greater one next 2 over 5 and 14 over 35 okay we have two ways to change uh, to compare between two those two fra uh, fractions first by looking to the two denominators 5 and 35 5 can be 35 if we multiply the up and down by what if we multiply up and down by 7 the two fractions will be 14 over 35 and the other one is also 14 over 35 okay 14 over 35 and 14 over 35 are equal okay we have another way which is called the cross multiplication or switch denominators by give 5 to the second fraction and give 35 to the first fraction and we are going inshallah to learn this way in the in the next uh, example example 4 find four rational numbers between 3 over 4 and 7 over 8 First, before finding rational numbers between 3 over 4 and 7 over 8, we need to change the two fractions into a common denominator. Okay, we have here two different, two different ways. By looking to the greater 1 and change them into the least common denominator or by using switching denominator and it is easier method okay uh, first i'm going to write three over four here and seven over eight here and i'm going to change the denominators what does it mean the first denominator is 4 the second denominator is 8 then I'm going to multiply the first fraction by the second denominator as the cross multiplication okay then we are going to multiply 3 and 4 by 8 the second one I'm going to multiply 7 and 8 by what? by 4 the first fraction will be 24 over 32 the second fraction will be 28 over 32 okay this is the first step and the second step 
24 here over 32 and 28 over 32 here and count the numbers between 24 and 28 we have 25 26 27 we have only three numbers but I need what I need four rational numbers then we have a problem here the problem is the, the, the existence of three numbers but I need four numbers then to solve this situation we are going to multiply up and down by 10 like this 24 times 10 will be 240 and 332 times 10 is 320 the second fraction we are going to do the same by multiply up and down by 10 it will be 280 over 320 okay now we have we have 240 and 280 between them there are many numbers okay i will choose only four numbers 241 over 320 242 over 320 note notes I'm, I'm using the same denominator 243 over 320 and 244 over 320 you can use any numbers between 240 and 280 okay example 5 identify and write four rational numbers between 4 over 5 and 3 over 2 such that one of them is an integer okay first the first step as the previous example I'm going to change the two fractions in common denominators okay by writing 4 over 5 here and 3 over 2 here okay and uh, the easier way by switching denominators like this the first fraction by 2 multiplied by 2 up and down the second fraction multiplied by 5 up and down okay the results will be 8 over 10 and 15 over 10 8 over 10 and 15 over 10 like this and 15 over 10 between them we can find more than four numbers then we need not to put zero up and down then 8 over 10 the next one is 9 over 10 next 10 over 10 11 over 10 12 over 10 and those are the four numbers but in the second condition it he needs an integer an integer which of those numbers is an integer yes by looking to 10 over 10 equal 1 then I will write this one as a note the integer is 10 over 10 which is equal 1 
and this is the end of the lesson i i hope it will it will uh, it will be useful for you and see you in the next video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh